We are getting final card cards and Disney Plus's WandaVision's interactive card game, if you will, card. And uh, even though I'm sad to see the last two episodes sneaking out on us, I'm really excited to see Kevin Feige and head writer Jack Schaefer's play to end out their hand. If, even though it's not in their hand, this card completely came from up their sleeve. Let's get cracking. Now that we've established that, please hit the like, share, hit the bell, and subscribe. Now it's time for a review. Previously on WandaVision. Looking for Easter eggs in the first episode of WandaVision from Disney Plus, one is pr left pretty bare, except for the one word. So this menu could be done in a snap. Lobster Thermidor with mini mincemeat turnovers to start. And the lobsters just flew the coop. Find the lobsters. <laughs> I couldn't find the lobsters. Good night. Lobster. <laughs> Alright, now we know that that symbol, the lobster, has to do with the unconscious. On the tarot deck of the moon card, has a lobster and a person sleeping on it. And we know that WandaVision has dreamlike symbolism. So we're just going to associate the moon card with the first episode. And then watch the second episode to see what happens. WandaVision! Ladies and gentlemen, for my final trick. Now the next question is why the tarot? Of course, then we need to understand that Wanda has to do with the tarot in the comics because it has to do with her power and her her aesthetic, like her whole thing, is based off the tarot. I'm a Sokovian fortune teller. So now that we established maybe the first episode had something to do with a card of the tarot and one that has something to do with the tarot, we can look for a tarot card in the second episode. For I illusion vow to bring you back exactly as you are. <gasps> Abra, cadabra! It's gotta be the magician card. This card shows a magician performing his art. The whole meaning of the card is about talent. The tools on his table represent the cards in the deck. And on the card, the magician is half drunk and half on point. Sick right now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just like me. And on the card, he is surrounded by roses, which is drilled in our heads just like lobster in the first one. What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. You'll notice her roses bloom under penalty of death. Your roses are divine! So we have those two episodes and they give us the rules moving forward. And we're gonna look at this like it's a little logic puzzle. We're gonna look at this like it, it's an escape room. And we're gonna use the rules that they've given us to predict what the next episodes are going to feature by reading what's on the cards. And we know that the cards are not that intimidating because we've already got two from the major archive which is only 22 cards and that narrows down what we're working with so I mean we can we can deduce that the third card will come from there too and the cards are kind of telling you which comes next they bleed one into the next sometimes the symbol from one card is related to another card or sometimes you can even see one card in the background of another card so in the first episode, Wanda's wearing a pearl necklace. And in the second episode, she's wearing a rose garment. And we know that she's going to be pregnant going into the third episode. 
Due to probability fracking, please stand by. The purveyors of Meta Egg Entertainment are not liable or responsible if you find yourself levitating. Buying large amounts of red yarn, menstrual, mental issues, thinking one is developing mutant powers, thinking one is a stimulation, or spontaneous gender change due to probability hex. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe. Don't DM me, bro.